Will the candidate for graduation please remain standing? Uh, President Miller, the candidates are assembled. Thank you. Will everyone please stand and join Cordell Weaver in singing the national anthem? Thank you, Cordell. Will you please be seated? Good afternoon. My name is Gary Miller, and it is my great honor to be president of the University of Akron. It's my privilege to extend a most cordial welcome to all of you who've joined us for the 231st commencement ceremonies of the University of Akron. Welcome, graduates and welcome to the parents, spouses, relatives, and friends who have helped make this day possible and who share your pride in this celebration. I'd like to ask Executive Vice President and Provost, Dr. John Winsick, to join me for some introductions. We are joined this afternoon by representatives of our distinguished faculty. We are fortunate to have such a remarkable group of individuals who are experts in their field sharing their deep knowledge with our students and challenging them to reach their life goals. At the University of Akron, faculty are not only teachers and mentors, but they remain scholars first and foremost, and their writing and research helps to shape our understanding of the world. Members of the faculty, will you please rise and remain standing? We are honored to have with us members of the Board of Trustees of the University of Akron. I'd like to ask them to stand and remain standing as I call their name. Chair of the Board, Mr. Joseph Jingo of Wadsworth. Mis Mr. Michael Saxon of Copley. Mr. Thomas Waltermeyer of Green. And two student trustees, Ms. Brooke Campbell of Fairlawn and Mr. Luke Smith of Chillicothe. Thank you all. We also have members of the administration here and some special guests. I'd like to uh, ask them to uh, stand and remain standing as I call their names. Vice President for Research and Business Engagement and Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Suzanne Bausch. <laughs> Vice President, Chief Communications and Marketing Officer, Ms. Tammy Ewan. <laughs> Vice President and Chief of Staff, Dr. Paul Levy. Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. John Messina. 
Dean of the University Libraries, Dr. Amy DeChambeau. Dean of the Williams Honors College, Dr. Federia Nicholson Swevel. Dean of the College of Engineering and Polymer Science, Dr. Craig Mensimer. Please join me in thanking these folks. Thank you. It's my great privilege now to ask Mr. Joe Jingo, Chair of the University of Akron's Board of Trustees, to extend greetings on behalf of the, of the trustees. Chair Jingo. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon. On behalf of the University of Akron's Board of Trustees, I offer a warm welcome to our guests and especially to the spring 2023 graduating class of the College of Engineering and Polymer Science. Graduates, you are the primary reason why this university exists. And we thank you for your entrusting us with your higher education. You had many options from which to choose. And we sincerely hope your Akron experience has proven that you chose wisely. In addition to conveying our gratitude, we want you to know that we appreciate and applaud your accomplishments here. Through great effort and perseverance, you have seized opportunities to broaden and sharpen your thinking, expand your worldview, attain professional and personal growth, and become educated citizens. Now, you will have more and greater opportunities to thrive, to contribute, and to serve. My fellow trustees and I wish that the journey awaiting you will be filled with good health, good fortune, and continued success. And will, from time to time, lead you back here to your alma mater. We are honored to join with your families, friends, and faculty in celebrating this important milestone. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Chair Jingo. Graduates, you entered this building today as students, and you'll leave as alumni. Before that transformation takes place, it's appropriate to hear from a representative of the class of 2023. Accepting that responsibility for this afternoon's ceremony is Nadine Salem. Before I call Nadine forward, allow me to tell you a little bit about this exceptional student. Nadine graduates today from the College of Engineering and Polymer Science with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering with a 3.985 grade point average. She's had an excellent academic career, including two semesters on the Dean's List and eight semesters on the President's List. Nadine was also a student in the Drs. Gary B. and Pamela S. Williams Honors College. She has been President of Tall Beta Pi and the President and Co-Founder of the Students for Justice in Palestine. Nadine is fluent in both Arabic and Spanish. She will start her career this summer when she joins the Timken Company as an application engineer. She would like to eventually earn a master's degree in business administration. She is the daughter of Hanya and Jahid Jihad Salem from North Canton, Ohio. Nadine, we're honored to invite you to come forward and address the 2023 graduating class. Good afternoon, Misa al khair or buenas tardes to my fellow graduates, faculty members, and honored guests. Today we celebrate the culmination of what feels like many, many, many years of hard work, dedication, and the occasional all-nighter fueled by nothing but caffeine and sheer panic. I am beyond honored to stand before you all today as a Palestinian-American Muslim woman representing the graduating class of 2023 from the College of Engineering and Polymer Science. When people told me college would be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, I, that kind of went over my head until I experienced a whole five years of whatever that was. 
Yes, there are the priceless memories and loyal friendships and the countless hours spent studying in ASEC or the basement of beers or masterfully procrastinating on final papers and projects. But then there were the moments we didn't really expect, the harder, more character-building experiences, like the semester spent online learning during COVID-19, or trying to navigate the social challenges we faced as a generation. We've witnessed firsthand the ongoing struggle for social justice right here in our city. But we've also witnessed something else. We've witnessed the power of activism and coming together to form solidarity and how standing up in the face of injustice can challenge the status quo and hopefully propel us towards a better and more promising future. As engineers, we have the power to create and innovate, but we also have a responsibility to uphold ethics and integrity, not only in our work, but in our daily lives. We are taught to design solutions and critically problem solve and that should not exclude these problems rooted in larger societal issues. Do not forget to challenge those existing power structures and systems and always push for equity and inclusion, environmental action, and social justice. As I stand here today, I cannot help but reflect on my journey to this moment. I would have never believed you if you told me that I would end up here today. As a Palestinian Muslim woman, I have found strength in the face of adversity and resilience in my identity. And I speak to you not just for myself, but for all those who have been told that they do not belong or that they cannot succeed. Yet here we are. Thank you to my professors, faculty, and fellow classmates for embarking on this journey with me and always encouraging me to follow the yeses. Thank you to my parents, family and friends, for always being the voice of reason when I have so many times wanted to quit and pursue my childhood dream of being a cashier. <laughs> Thank you to my design team. Without Frostflex, I am nothing. And thank you to my student organizations, Tau Beta Pi, and Students for Justice in Palestine for trusting me as a leader and more importantly, as a friend. And, and finally, Alhamdulillah, all praise due to the Most High. As we celebrate our achievements today and look towards the future, remember the power we have to make a difference in this world. I challenge each one of us to find a cause we're passionate about and get involved. I challenge you all to be active agents of change and empathy, not only in our communities, but in this world. And finally, I challenge you all to take a fat nap and have some fun because you deserve it. Felicidades, elf mabruk, or congratulations to the class of 2023. Let's go out into this world and leave a legacy that we can be proud of. As the famous Palestinian author Hassan Kanafani once said, you have something in this world, so stand for it. Thank you and free Palestine. Thank you, Nadine. So one of the great opportunities of being president of the university is that I get to give you folks some last words of advice. So here are 10 pieces of sagacious advice I want you to remember when you leave. Number one, the single most important characteristic of successful, highly educated people like you is that they don't believe they've finished learning. Keep learning, it's the only way to succeed. Number two, the most powerful tool of creativity is empathy. People who are sensitive to the situation of others are the ones who solve big problems. Number three, unfortunately, you will find people in the world who dismiss you, ignore you, take advantage of you, show outright disdain for you. You need to figure out how to deal with these people. The best way to do that is to get a house cat. <laughs> You'll have the opportunity to deal with rejection every day. <laughs> Number four, despite what you've heard, there is such a thing as truth. An educated person it, it is obligated to seek truth. 
Educated people are obligated to speak the truth. Number five, if you want to persuade someone of something, the first thing you have to do is listen to them very carefully. Understanding another person's perspective, even if you disagree with it, is the only way to get that person to understand what you think. Number six, be optimistic. After all, there is a theoretical possibility that the Browns will win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Number seven, most of the earth is water. Learn how to swim. Number eight, some of you will become billionaires. When you do that, and I know this is hard for this group, don't build space rockets. We have enough of those guys already. Instead, buy yourself a nice car and give the rest of the money to the University of Akron. <laughs> yeah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> Number nine, civilized societies embrace a common good. This good comes from mutual respect, from taking care of one another, and from lending a hand to those that are in need. Nurture this precious commonwealth through a life of service. And number 10, love is not a thing. Love is the only thing. Find love, give love, and this will make you happy. Congratulations to all of you. Take care of one another, and remember, you're always a zip. And now I want to invite uh, Executive Vice President and Provost Dr. John Winsick to come forward to supervise the awarding of degrees. Professor Winsick. Good afternoon to everyone. We will now begin to confer upon our graduates those degrees for which they have sacrificed and labored so intently over the past several years. The spring class of 2023 at the University of Akron consists of 1,949 candidates from 25 states and 35 countries ranging in ages from 17 to 66, and includes 32 candidates for the doctorate degree, 82 for the Juris Doctor degree, 293 for the master's degree, 1,395 for bachelor's degrees, and 220, 244 for associate's degree. Today we are gathered in formal convocation with those candidates from the College of Engineering and Polymer Science and Dean Craig Menzimer. As we recognize and confer degrees upon these candidates, I will proceed by acknowledging those that have earned doctoral degrees, master's degrees, and undergraduate degrees. As each candidate has their name called, we do ask that our guests please be respectful of the occasion so that each candidate may be duly recognized for their accomplishments. Graduates, I would, I would now like to invite your college dean forward to provide remarks before the conferral of our remaining degrees. Dean Menzimer, would you please step to the podium and address your candidates? Thank you. It is certainly a privilege and honor to be before you today. New graduates, parents, loved ones, significant others, faculty and staff of this great university. Over the course of your education, you've listened to many lectures, seminars, and invited talks. Although this is a day of celebration, I want to do something different and give you a couple of pieces of advice that were given to me by my father. Some spoken, mostly demonstrated, as these have served me well particularly when I take the time to remember. This is different than what you might normally hear at graduation, but it isn't clear how many more opportunities I'll have to stand here, and I thought I owed it to my dad. I'll apologize if it takes me a minute or so to get through these. This is not something I've spoken a lot about, at least not to too many people. It was 1944, my father was 18 years old. 
just graduated from high school, and apparently the Marine Corps required his services. After an introduction to Paris Island, he served overseas in the South Pacific with the 6th Marine Division under some very, very difficult circumstances. He returned home and started to work on the floor of a steel mill, attending night classes as he could. He never finished a degree, but became a regional sales manager for a very large transportation company. So the first piece of advice I would give you is to value your education and don't take it for granted because you don't know where it's going to take you. I'm living proof of that. My grandfather, my dad's father, was not around much after their youngest child was born, and that's a polite way to say it. Years later, when my grandfather finally got his life together, he came to visit us from time to time. As long as my father was alive, I never heard a disparaging word from his mouth about his father. Never. The second piece of advice I would give is to extend others some grace. We need that now more than ever. My father was a very avid golfer, although he taught himself late in life. Despite that, it always amazed me how focused he was and certainly very difficult to beat in a head-to-head -head match. As graduation represents the start of something new, there is one more piece of advice he would probably share. When you step onto the field, onto the court, onto the tee box, the classroom, into your office or laboratory, wherever that may be. Leave it all there and give your maximum effort. If you do this, you'll never have to hang your head. You can live with the results no matter what they are and the idea that you gave it your all. There is certainly no shame in that. Again, my congratulations. And it is always a little bittersweet for me to stand here. But please drop by and see us. Let us know how you're doing. And as always, go Zips. Thank you, Dean Menzimer, and congratulations, College of Engineering and Polymer Science graduates. Will Dean Menzimer of the College of Engineering and Polymer Science and Dean Bosch of the Graduate School please rise? Will the candidates for doctoral degrees please rise? These candidates before you have attained to the highest degree bestowed by any institution of higher learning. It is the cumulative achievement of years of rigorous academic work significant cutting-edge research, and supreme dedication to their chosen discipline. Candidates, we are proud of the work you have done here at the University of Akron. We congratulate you on a tremendous achievement and trust that you will continue your participation in the discovery and creation of knowledge, the ongoing practice of which has earned you this degree. President Miller, these candidates have successfully fulfilled the requirements of the graduate school. With the approval of the dean and the graduate faculty, they are now presented to you to receive the Doctor of Philosophy degree. Thank you, Provost Winsick, Dean Mensimer, and Dean Bausch, and congratulations, candidates, on this remarkable achievement. Exercising the authority vested in me by the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all of the highest requirements of this university, the Doctor of Philosophy degree, with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. 
doctors of philosophy, as evidence of your achievement, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma and your hood. Please come forward as directed by the marshals. Isaiah Kaiser, looted by Dr. Scott Dilling. <laughs> Anodeep Reddy Vadira, looted by Dr. Scott Dilling. Ashet Wadajo. Hooded by Dr. Malik Ebelak. <laughs> Abdullah Al Zalfawi. Hooded by Dr. Anil Petnayan. Parna Agarwal. Hooded by Dr. Sadan Jana. Kai Gu. Hooded by Dr. Chunming Lu. Mansuri. Hooded by Dr. Nick Lipsig. Esan <laughs> Rai. Hooded by Dr. Tiabo Lu. <laughs> Yu Ching Yang. Put it by Dr. Tian Bu Lu. Travis Smith. Put it by Dr. Shi Ching Wong.
Chinapad Tantisuano. Footed by Dr. Abraham Joy. Dylan Presto. Put it by Dr. Mark Foster. <laughs> Brenna Yorimoto. Put it by Dr. Mark Foster. Will Dean Menzimer and Dean Bausch please rise? Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? The master's represents a significant accomplishment, both academically and professionally. These candidates are now equipped to be leaders in their respective fields, impacting their pro professional and personal spheres of influence with their knowledge, passion, and commitment to excellence. President Miller, these candidates have successfully, successfully fulfilled the requirements of the master's degree program. With the approval of the dean and the graduate faculty, they are now presented to you to receive their master's degree. Thank you, Provost, Provost Winsick, Dean Mensimer, and Dean Bausch, and congratulations to all of you. Exercising the authority vested in me by the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all the requirements, the master's degree, with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Now, graduates, as evidence of your achievements, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma. Please follow the directions of the marshals. Shahad Alafrahi. <laughs> Sai Jyoti Ongol. <laughs> Ita Madri Malampati. <laughs> Abbas Safi Valsadwala. Nilay Shah. <laughs> Ravi Schwartz.
Nicole Mallerney. Nicholas Thomas. Yu Tsui. Hayden Salmon. Ahmed Darwich. Thomas Freshly. Xu Jun Yu. Daniel Rudy. Dakota Snyder. Divyani Wonk. Andrew Knees. Waziha Khan. Sai Satya Sruti Reddy. Before we proceed with the conferral of undergraduate degrees, it is appropriate that we give special recognition to those candidates who have demonstrated outstanding scholastic achievement or exemplary service while earning their bachelor or associate's degree. On page nine of your program, you will find an explanation of the criteria for awarding these special designations. Recipients of academic honors also are noted individually in your program. I ask our audience to take notice of the honors cords, stoles, and medallions worn by these graduates as symbols of their exemplary accomplishments. At this time, I ask candidates with special designations and academic honors to please rise and remain standing as your honors is called. Those graduating summa cum laude, please rise. Those graduating magna cum laude, please rise. Those graduating cum laude, please rise. Williams Honors Scholars, please rise. Those students who have been inducted into collegiate honor societies, please rise. And finally, will those who have served our nation, both veterans and current members of the armed forces, please rise. Congratulations to all of you. Please be seated. Will Dean Menzimer please rise? Will the candidates for undergraduate degrees, including bachelor's and associate degrees, please rise? President Miller, these students have successfully fulfilled the requirements of one of the undergraduate degrees in their college. With the approval of the dean and faculty, these students are now presented to you to receive their undergraduate degree. Thank you, Provost Winsick and Dean Mensimer, and congratulations to all of you.
exercising the authority vested in me by the trustees of the University of Akron, legally vested by the people of the state of Ohio, and upon the recommendation of our faculty, I now confer upon each of you who has fulfilled all the requirements, the appropriate degree, with all the rights, privileges, duties, and responsibilities of that degree. Now, candidates, as evidence of your achievements, you will be called to the stage to receive your diploma. Please follow the directions of the marshals. John DePaulo. Ryan Olin. Jared Vance. Ram Paudei. Yuvraj Subidi. Nadine Salem. Jamie Clark. Preston Zink. Noah Brown. Andrew Adams. Colin Downey. Ian Hilliker. Mohammed Al Daman. Jacob Meyer. Alexander Carlisle. Marianne Bonto. Stefan Illich. <laughs> Brett Jacobson. <laughs> Ferris Sabog. <laughs> Adam Eftering. Tyler Wonky. Anthony Meniru. Jackson Lehman. Jackson Piper. Kyle Law. Ethan Andrews. Claudia Miller.
Danielle Bardwell Patino. Aliyah Bajet. Yazin Amawi. Alex Kramer. Jack Streifler. Joshua Lloyd. Michael Pugh. Benjamin Swartz. Joshua Bunday. Isaac Edmondson. Caleb Edmondson. Joseph Esker. Spencer Fraze. Dylan Petty. Raymond Hilbert. Brandon Meyer. Eric Sconyers. Nicholas Armstrong. Neil Whitesell. Jared Spiesman. Deira Indermuley. Bryce Town. Andrew Sobel. Constantine Paris. <laughs> Johan Franco. <laughs> Brian Hanel. <laughs> Jonathan Varney. Joseph Stern. Nathan Keenan. Kirolos Melek. Noah Folk. Tammy Chapman. Cody Lowe's. Andrew Truax. Tyler Arosevich. Andrew Leonard. Justin Ebert. Melissa Mitchell. Isabel Hyde Perez. Colin Waldron. Lauren Palinkas. Allison Bauscher. Madison Britton.
Christina Grassi. Carissa Eplin. Maria Petreca. Mason Hegeman. Matthew Elsfelder. Noah Van Heining. Nathan Strinka. Peyton Villers. Sylvester Wilson. Brian Sears. Ian Tanner. Gregory Robertson. Seth Milojevic. Sarah Skyver. Theodora Niamtu. Maria Hatsis. Colin McInnes. Kayla Reby. Jared Bracken. Jenna Miner. Marley Hansen. Samuel Miza. Jenna Stevens. Callie Rupin. Victoria Bell. Lucas Dickerson. Garrett Chin. Drake Novak. Adam Port. Cameron Carruthers. Evan Ram. William Beaupre. Caleb Singleton. Matthias Markson. Dominic Palco. Truman Ospelt. Alexander Sibriak. Riley McElroy. Connor McMillan. Taylor Steinborn. Enya Fergasi. Kaylin Cabezzo. Lauren Ickes. Caitlin Zollinger.
Sabrina Love. Noah Nerlich. Tyler Madison. Robert Truax. Michael Rogers. Noah Pickle. Jared Ulichny. Juliana McGaffick. Abigail Jones. Zachary Shuttler. Connor Wood. Allison Muniak. Rachel English. Seth Grono. Julianne Harrow. Natalie Planey. Lee McGrath. Sean Monahan. Megan Johnson. Jared Naro. Mariah Riccardi. Matthew Gerhardt. Anthony Russo. Megan Swope. Tyler Wartman. Jacob Wyant. Ethan Fressa. Isabella Adkins. Cameron Pekarski. Stefan Maria. Nicholas Toke. Joshua Kraus. Jakub Sikla. Caitlin Bev. Ariel Bryan. Matthew Beebe. Bradley Sandor. Mitchell Flew. Kaylee Dudek. Kimberly Morgan. Joseph Garrow. Nathan Schroeder. Joel Christie Millet. Maxwell Brown.
Mark Glass. Michael Mahalik. Oluwa Damilari Oshinike. Kaylee Bohr. Kendra Sanner. Justin DeLuke. Matthew Deeds. Rhea Huber. Brayden Malloy. Michael Liebhardt. Island Yang. Aiden Rooks. Quentin Chung. Thomas Marchini. Ryan Thompson. Sean Nas. Jarrett Filler. Jared Stevens. Dominic Nero. Nicholas Nero. Sydney Doyle. Anthony Kavalik. Nicholas Ergezi. Alec Danielowitz. Logan Bauscher. Benjamin Yule. Liam Salvage. Parker Papp. Benjamin Klein. Benjamin Peacock. Patrick Hanlon. Claire Nicholas. Julian Levine. Emily Jivan. Sarah Robinson. Drew Horton. Stephen Raska. Alexis Jordan. Megan Arsena. Melissa Cardew. Julia Paytech. Gabrielle Johnson. Ian Selzer. Chris James.
Anthony Clay. Matthew McFadden. Jacob Wise. Ian Zanath. Trent Nixon. Tyler Brejo. Cameron Masich. Brian Barish. Simon Lumley. Ian Fuller. Paul Guttridge. Logan Dynan. Ileana Sinadinos. Drew Beitzel. Jackson Foster. Basil Shab. Aiden Bundy. Brady Zink. Colin Muma. Spencer Lee. Gregory Blondheim. William Keenan. Jonathan Burney. Brendan Jones. Britton Poland. Dylan Carone. Connor McCready. Anthony Sinali. Patrick Kennedy. Alexander Jenny. Ashton Arosa. Jennifer Numagami. Rakan Al Rashda. James Harmon. Duncan Welch. Ethan Napping. Marwan Sulehim. Tarek Al Subhi. Basil Al Kaldi. Daniel Murray. Jacob Hahn. Jonathan McAllister. Daniel Willis. Buzz Krager. Cameron Messenger.
Caitlin Wiley. Emily Green. Nathan Doty. Connor Ruchin. Christian Cosmos. Jake Hanich. Christian Vai. Carter Kuwatch. Andrew Milligan. Ryan Ferguson. Trevor McCaffrey. Nicholas Tolson. Isabella Allen. Kyle Verney. Alexander Milligan. Tami Lolu Fayomi. Mario Florian. Eric Bliss. Jeremy Broderson. Ryan De La Rosa. Sloan Perkins. Colby Lackey. Matthew Henning. Eric Matthews. Brandon Chapman. Gabrielle Crow. Alexander Tuttle. Jessica Ash. William Gross. Kevin Kruchuk. Colin Moran. Mariah Salhani. Lonnie Wilson. Justin Bartlett. James Bach. Dalton Lott. Timothy Ike. Thomas McMullen. Tyler McQueen. Mitchell Wilburn. Nathan Murak. Brittany Gad. Vincent Fissionary. Daquan Jones. Brian Weiler. Yeah! 
Nicholas Jordan. Joseph Milo. Adedeji TMEU. Noah Marsh. Palmer Metcalf. Alfie Maynard Hinnepis. Reed Miller. Dominic Slentz. Trey Weber. Stephen Ashcraft. Ian Taylor. Jornice Cox. Gino Muccheroni. Brian Leonard. Alexander Picarillo. David Kotick. Chidubem Iguiagu. Zachariah Burkhart. Savannah Rimley. Juan Soto. Clint Spillman. Matthew Schmidt. James Medved. Tanner Martin. Vaughn Richards. Jonathan Larson. Spencer Compton. Clayton Eggleston. John Jeffrey. Alexander Lewins. Delano Domenico. Darla Durthick. Ryan Schwake. Gabriel Ferris. George Elefteru. Matthew Toplak. Mitchell Rupel. Ashton Carruthers. Anthony Lupica. Blaine Barter. Victor Di Tommaso. Nathan Thompson. Hunter Bach. Paul Cornett. Colton Zanko. William Norton.
Ella Brinkman. Marie Costco. Morgan Lang. Nina Treacher. Corey Ramsey. Oleinka Famadou. Emma Hopkins. Bradley Dietrich. Chadwick Wims. Dylan Phillips. Jackson Iamarino. Travis Cunningham. Joshua George. Drina Hobson. Anton McClure. Carrie Ladd. Haley Diorio. Graham Purnell. Chase Lane. Sean Dinger. Lucas Bayandich. Seth Luted. Mark Morcos. Jackson Carroll. Christine Skaken. Vincent Grosso. Andrew Perro. Cade Smar. Aaron Clark. Carissa Thompson. Scott Swinehart. Rebecca Teodosio. Cameron Creamer. Jillian Barrich. Rebecca Starkey. Lauren Grass. Stephanie Getz. Michael Dickens. Lillian Beatty. Elena Paxos. Bayan Ahmed. Damaris Pasca. Grace Curtison. Amanda Strainer. Caitlin Schroyer. Grace Garbonic.
graduate. Class of Class of 2023, class of 2023, will you please rise? Now is the moment that you and those that have supported you have worked so hard to realize. Please designate your status as graduates of the University of Akron by moving your tassels from the right side to the left side of your mortarboard. Graduates, please remain standing for just a minute. Nobody makes this journey alone. You've been supported in many ways by your parents, spouses, friends, and other loved ones. In many cases, they have worked and sacrificed much for you to achieve this dream. So it's appropriate that you now acknowledge all family members and friends who are here today so graduates, will you please turn and express your appreciation to your friends in the audience. <clears throat> and you may be seated. Graduates, you're now alumni of the University of Akron. So I want to ask Mr. William Coleman, class of 2008 and 2010, and Assistant Vice President of Alumni Relations and Executive Director of the Alumni Association to welcome you into the University of Akron Alumni Association. Will. Thank you, President Miller, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Your time as a student has come to an end, and you will soon walk out these doors a proud graduate of the University of Akron. Before you do, know that you are joining a community of more than 180,000 talented, dynamic, and accomplished alumni spanning the world. Akron alumni have played an important role in the success of this institution since its founding 153 years ago. As executive director, I encourage you to continue this tradition, to remain engaged, to stay connected. From recruiting new zips to mentoring current ones, or by joining us for our many alumni events around the country, including this October for your first homecoming as an alum. Lastly, seek the joy in this place and the people and the ideas it introduced you to. And wherever your path today takes you, Remember that you are forever a zip. On behalf of all University of Akron alumni here and abroad, I am pleased and very honored to officially welcome you all as members of the University of Akron Alumni Association. Best wishes in all you do, fellow alumni, and go Zips! Let me just, uh, thank you, Willie. Let me take a moment to acknowledge a few individuals whose good work made this ceremony possible today. First, I want to thank our vocalist, Cordell Weaver. Where is he? Right over there. Give him a. At the other end of the floor in the arena is the University of Akron Brass Choir, which is directed by Dr. Jim Johnson. Please acknowledge him. Thank you, Jim. Dr. Alexis Diabreo Garcia is the University Marshal today. And our marshals are led by Mr. Steve Jacobson. Our interpreters over here, Julie Pavlich and Bethany Savoda. And many other members of the university community helped, and I want to thank them. We will conclude our ceremony in just a moment by singing the University of Akron's alma mater, followed by a formal recessional. Graduates, please follow the directions of the marshals as we recess. Guests of our graduates, in order to prevent crowding,
We encourage you to meet your graduate outside of the arena on Coleman Commons or some other open space on campus. And now I'd, act, I'd like to ask the stage party to rise. Graduates, will you please rise? On behalf of the trustees, faculty, and the University of Akron community everywhere, I wish you joy, much success, and many happy returns to your alma mater. And thank you all for attending the 231st commencement exercises of the University of Akron. I'd like to invite everyone else to rise now and to join Card Cordell Weaver in singing the alma mater. The words are on page 43 of your program. As the songs conclude, please remain standing for the recessional. Close beside. 